Hey, what's up? It's Duskmos. Today I'm going to talk about a stereo reverb pedal from Death by Audio, and it's called The Rooms. Um, really awesome reverb. It was kind of an instant hit when it first came out. Um, like I said, stereo ins and outs, really great. Uh, I love this giant knob for the time control. And uh, these independent dry and effects volume knobs, really handy, really cool. As well as this alt switch that lets you activate secondary um, frequency, depth, and time controls um, in a foot switch. So really cool to hop between those two. Um, but yeah, let's give it a listen. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. This is Signal Colors. Okay, so the Rooms has eight knobs, including these three little guys here, two hard latching foot switches, and um, on the back panel, we've got stereo in, stereo out, and the power point. On the right side, we've got a um, expression pedal input and a little uh, recessed selector switch. You can see it says F to T here, and that selects whether or not the uh, expression controls the frequency, um, parameter or the time and this actually expression is only available in this alt mode which you turn on and off via this foot switch so in each of the modes the frequency and depth controls different things um, so you can see the modes listed here one through six and I'll go through that as I go through the different modes in the demonstration um, it really changes up kind of what these do and they're very specific to the different modes um, so yeah I'll cover that once we get there the frequency or parameter one, since these do change um, um, with these different modes, that is the frequency of the effect, depth of the effect, time of course, time of the uh, reverberation, dry level and FX level, which is really cool to be able to blend these um, independently. You can really dial in the sound that you want. You've also got this uh, chicken head sort of knob here that will select between the different modes. It really snaps into place and it's really pleasing to use actually. Um, just like this big, this big time knob here is really fun. So that covers the control scheme of the rooms, but let's hook it up and hear how it sounds. So I've got the Laura Mill Keyed Moss Tone here. Um, it's really cool sounding, really raw, um, pretty straightforward. Uh, semi-modular synthesizer and I think it's a great pairing for the rooms because the rooms is so lush this has got a nice like pure kind of sound to it um, and yeah I think this uh, the rooms will really help this shine and I think they'll just work really well together so we'll see how they do okay so for mode one um, which is called room it is a classic reverb that simulates many different rooms. Um, the frequency knob controls the tone of decay and the depth controls the pre-delay amount. Um, and so to start off, I'll let you hear the clean tone. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward, a little bleepy bloopy. I'm gonna kind of leave it as it is um, just through all the different modes so we can really see what this does. So. Okay, we'll go ahead and kick in. I've got the dry amount um, at about, oh, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so, depth at about 10 o'clock or so. Um, right now, the frequency I have turned down all the way, depth down all the way, so we'll kind of see sort of where that gets us, but right away, let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, pretty, pretty lovely. <laughs> Yeah, so right out of the gate, sounds really great. Um, that rhymed, it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> um, we'll turn up the frequency and kind of see what that does, which is the tone of the decay. So you hear it really kind of brighten up and almost 
It's like it removes the filter to a degree. I'm actually going to turn the volumes up a little bit here. Yeah, sweeping through the frequency band or the tone. You can really hear that change. Okay, um, and then we'll turn up the pre-delay here. Oh yeah, you can really hear the stereo uh, effect going on here. Turn up the pre-delay all the way. Really nice. Really good tails. Let's see what happens here. Adjust the time knob. So she get really long decay. Oh yeah. Bring down the frequency, the tone. You hear it kind of filter everything. Pretty awesome. Bring the time down. Real short. And the depth back down or the pre-delay amount. It's crazy the time knob at about noon still has that kind of decay. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Let's see what happens if we really max it out. I'll kind of let it end, do a fresh note, <laughs> and let's just see. <laughs> wow, yeah, super long. Uh, that's pretty crazy. It's awesome. It sounds good. Okay. I'm going to move on to sound two now, um, which is digit. So we'll click over to that. And digit is described as a filter matrix verb capable of creating otherworldly resonances and fractured repeats. Uh, the frequency knob controls the delay time and the depth controls the delay feedback. So we'll kind of start again with these down all the way. We'll leave the mix where it is for now, time at about noon, and let's see. Doesn't sound too different at first look. Let's go ahead and up the frequency, which is the delay time. And the depth, which is the feedback. maxed out frequency or delay time. So it's kind of cool. It almost sounds granular. It sounds like it's kind of latching onto a little snippet um, and then maintaining. And uh, that's pretty cool.
go ahead and ramp up the delay feedback. We'll change the time knob as this rings out. So not much impact other than just kind of ending that decay sooner. But yeah, starting it with it up higher. It's pretty wild. Feedback up all the way. We'll bring it back a little bit, maybe change the uh, delay time here. Yeah, pretty beautiful sounding. Okay. We'll move on to number three, which is Peak, which is a super intense bandpass filter combined with an ambient reverb. So frequency is the filter frequency and depth is the filter resonance. So again, we'll kind of start kind of where we were and let's see how it sounds. So yeah, you can kind of hear it's a little bit spacier, a bit more subtle in these settings, but still just as nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up the frequency. Oh yeah, we hear a pretty marked volume increase. Oh yeah. Nice filter sweep. Okay, we'll um, up the resonance. creating a wall of reverb there. Pretty sweet. We'll up the resonance pretty high. And I'll bring the time down pretty low. Yeah, that's a really intense filter. That's pretty cool. I've never really heard um, filtering that is as in-depth as this on a reverb pedal. Go ahead and up the time quite a bit. Actually, I maxed it out. I bring it a little bit down from max. Wow. Be a little careful there with volumes. But that's pretty sweet. And what's cool is if you have expression set up um, and it works with the preset, as I mentioned before, um, or the alt mode, then you can set the expression to the frequency knob. So you could really, you could ride the frequency with an expression pedal or a slider or an external LFO. So yeah, there's some good potential there for some creative expression. <laughs> We 
we'll move on to mode four now, which is gate. And gate is described as a gated reverb. Short reverb times create a classic gate effect. Long reverb times create a controllable freeze effect. So frequency is the uh, decay tone and depth is the rate response time. So let's see how that goes. We'll go ahead and do a clean reminder here. Pretty basic, but that's the point. All right, re-engage rooms, gate mode, and let's hear it. So again, we kind of have a nice lush ambient style reverb. But let's up the decay tone. Oh yeah, you can kind of hear the freeze there, kind of latching on. Okay, now up the response time. Oh yeah, you really hear the gate, so it's blocking the signal, the reverb signal. Except for when the signal passes through. You can really hear it kind of go chum 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 chum. <laughs> Up the time here. So yeah, bringing the depth um, all the way up is what really emphasizes the, and we'll get time going again, sort of intensity of the, of the gate, which is pretty cool. Yeah, different kind of effect, pretty, pretty neat. And we can, in this case, we'll turn up the effects amount. So it's pretty cool that it comes in handy that you can use the dry and wet volume amounts there to control kind of um, the, the mix between the affected and unaffected signal. So that's really handy to have, especially on an effect like this. Moving on to number five, which is the wave style reverb. We'll go ahead and go back to our home base. <laughs> um, so this down, this down, and 12 o'clock here. Wave is described in a way that it creates a pinch vibrato effect, lowering time will blend out the reverb signal, allowing sweeps from chorus or vibrato to long modulated reverbs. Frequency controls modulation frequency, and depth controls modulation depth. So they actually do what they say in this mode, which is nice. So I'll actually kind of return the FX volume down a little bit. So again, we have a nice lush, I guess pad reverb. I'm not really sure what a pad reverb is, but I feel like that's what ambient reverbs are. All right, so I'm gonna turn up the frequency or in this case, modulation frequency. And we probably don't hear it much because the depth is down. 
So let's turn the modulation depth up. Oh yeah. So you can see there, very wild. Yeah, this blends out the reverb signal. So yeah, with it down, it's really just more of the vibrato chorus effect. And then you turn it up and you get the reverb added in. And it seems to oscillate, self-oscillate. Yeah, I feel like that would run away from me if I didn't uh, dial it back, but that sounds cool. And maybe cooler on some of the subtle, more subtle settings. It gets a little out there, but you know, that could come in handy for whatever, you know, if you use that kind of thing in your music. It's pretty cool though. So now switching to mode six, the last of the six modes. Um, again, I'll kind of turn down the settings here, put our time at 12 o'clock and, um, Gong mode, which is six mode gong, um, is described as ethereal crushed reverb sounds guaranteed to make you star in an upcoming remake of Dune and live out your sci-fi fantasies of space travel and galactic domination. <laughs> All right, let's see how that, if that works on us. Um, the frequency knob controls the modulator frequency and the depth controls the blends from aliasing left to ring modulation on the right. Um, so we'll start it. I guess it'll be fully um, aliased since it'll be all the way left on the depth mod knob and frequency. Um, we'll have low modulator frequency because it's turned down. So let's hear it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty spacey. All right, let's get the, yeah. Modulator frequency up. Let me turn the FX level down just a little bit. Maybe time down some. We'll get the, um, we'll get it into Remod territory now. So it's going from far right, the ring mod, to the alias side, which is pretty cool. We're in full ring mod now. Just adjusting the frequency. I turn the time all the way down. And it seems here turning it up introduces the reverb.
I'm going to cross over to Alias. I think it worked. I do want to live out my sci-fi fantasies of space travel and galactic domination. Thank you, Death by Audio. <laughs> Just let it ring out. All right. So now what I think I want to do is um, I'll get a loop going here uh, with some changing notes and just kind of let it cycle through. And I'm going to switch modes and just do a little bit of a freestyle like I like to do. Just kind of let something run and then just kind of take the pedal wherever it takes me. So um, I'm going to patch up a quick little sequence here. Okay, so now we're firmly in some sci-fi territory. I'm gonna crank it back to mode one just to start. Just a reminder, this is what it sounds like clean. Way less dramatic. I'm going to blend out the clean. And we're pretty much in scary sci-fi territory. You want to take the randomness out of it, actually. Make it sound a little... A little nicer. There we go. Mode 2, digit. Feedback up all the way. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Bring down the feedback a little bit. third one. Again, I'm going to go with up here just 
wet signal, cut out the dry. Okay, I'm gonna move on to gate. Cut the dry. Leads to a pretty cool effect. frequency down. <laughs> you have some subtle modulation there. Sounds pretty cool. Back to Gong. go that's the rooms reverb all six modes paired with the lower mill keyed moss tone lots of features lots of stuff you can do with it really cool the death by audio rooms is a really really nice reverb it sounds extremely lush and has tons of modes with tons of control over the parameters the filter in peak mode is really wide-ranging and sounds super cool especially when sweeping it and it's something i haven't really heard in a reverb before at least not to that extent. And the same goes for the gate mode. It sounds like a really cool ducking effect if you set it in time with your drums, which is pretty cool and useful. Also, the crazy sci-fi sounds you can get in gong mode is really great for some wild sound design if you're into that kind of thing. And as an electronic artist using pedals in a studio environment, I also really appreciate the stereo inputs and outputs. It just makes life easier. Overall, I feel like there's nothing bad to say about the rooms. It sounds great, it has really good hands-on control, it's really flexible with tons of sound sculpting options, and I think it just seems really useful. I think Death by Audio did a great job here. I feel like the rooms would work really great in a lot of contexts, from airy ambient sounds to wild out there sci-fi sounds, and I feel like it would be hard not to find a way to add rooms to your setup.